Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It's the last question on the GCSE 2023. I'm having a little bit of trouble reading it, so let's enhance. It says we have eight identical octagons with side length of A. Now we're trying to find the area of this shaded shape, and what's the answer given in this form? Area equals P times the quantity two plus square root of two, A squared. And it tells us we have eight identical octagons with side length of A. So all of these will be equal to A. In fact, all of these will be equal to A. This might look like a lot of A's, but to my regular followers, they're used to seeing lots of A's. And we're gonna focus on the A's that touch our shaded region. If we were in the middle of a test, I would just assume all of these were right angles, but there is a way to prove it. Let's connect this piece right here and pull this out. And let's look at these interior angles. Here's the notes for the interior angles of a polygon. The sum of the interior angles of an n-sided polygon is gonna be n minus two times 180. And we're dealing with an eight-sided polygon, so it's gonna be eight minus two times 180. Eight minus two is equal to six, and six times 180 is 1080. So the sum of all these interior angles is 1080 degrees. And then to figure out the size of each of these angles, we would divide that 1080 by eight to get 135 degrees. So all of these angles are 135 degrees. We're gonna to wanna to focus on these two angles. We can get rid of the rest of them. And now we're ready to find this angle theta. All three of these angles are gonna to add to 360 degrees. So that means theta plus 135 plus 135 will be 360. 135 plus 135 is 270, and then we can subtract 270 from both sides. On the left side, these cancel each other out. And on the right-hand side, 360 minus 270 is 90. So we know that theta is equal to 90 degrees. That means this here is a right angle. And this is the work to verify that. We were given that these are equal to A, but we don't know the length of this side C. In a 45, 45, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is always square root of two times the two side lengths. But in case you didn't know that, we can still do the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus A squared is equal to C squared. A squared plus A squared is equal to two A squared, and then we can square root both sides of the equation. We can break this out into square root of two times square root of A squared. Since these are positive distances, the square root of A squared is A, and the square root of C squared is C. And now we have C is equal to the square root of two times A. Now we can update this to be square root of two times A. Now let's find this entire distance. We know these are both A, so we know the whole distance will be A plus the square root of two times A plus A. This A plus this A will give us two A, and we end up with two A plus the square root of two times A. And both of these terms have an A, so let's factor out that common A. And we're left with A times the quantity two plus the square root of two. Let's move this back up here, and now we know all of these angles are right angles. Let's complete this square and pull it out. We know that the height is gonna match the base, so the area of this will be the base times the height. So we can do A times A to get A squared, and this stuff times this stuff to get this stuff squared. So the area of this square is equal to A squared times this squared. Now let's drag down one of these triangles. In total, there are four of these triangles. Let's find the area of those four triangles. The area of a triangle is equal to one half base times height, so this would be one half times A times A which would be one half a squared. And then we're gonna multiply that by four. Let's rearrange stuff and four times one half is equal to two. So the area of these four triangles is equal to two a squared. So now if we add up this plus this, we'll have the area of the shaded shape. So this thing squared means this times this, and then we can multiply it out. So we have two times two, which is equal to four, plus two times the square root of two, plus two times the square root of two, plus square root of two times square root of two, which is equal to two. And then we can combine like terms, two root two plus two root two is equal to four root two. And four plus two is equal to six. Next, we can distribute this a squared to both of these terms. So we end up with two a squared plus six times a squared plus four root two times a squared. And then two a squared plus six a squared is gonna be eight a squared. Next, we can look at both of these terms and they have a greatest common factor. It's equal to four a squared. So four a squared times what gives us this? Well, that's two. Plus four root squared times what gives us this? Well, that's gonna be root two. So we end up with four a squared times the quantity two plus square root of two. And that is the answer for our area. This almost looks identical. We just need to rearrange a little bit. And that is the answer to our question. So the area of this shaded shape is equal to four times the quantity two plus square root of two times a squared. And that's approximately 13.6569 a squared. How exciting.